How to use calendar integration in monday.com Hi guys, today I'm showing you that how you can actually integrate a calendar into your monday.com workspace. It's super easy and sometimes people don't find calendars on monday.com so I will be telling you that how you can actually integrate a calendar for free on monday.com so let's get started now we all know that monday.com is an awesome project management and crm software where we can actually you know create an awesome workspace of our own and integrate many uh, apps into it integrate um many other features into monday.com as well and then you know uh, use it for our benefit to increase our workspace so let's get started and create a integration of calendar into our workspace so this is what my main workspace is and i have created a board so let's start first what you have to do is just simply go to apps right here now in the apps option you will find this amazing marketplace where you can actually integrate a lot of other apps into monday.com so i'm gonna actually you know integrate a calendar for free which is going to be, you know, pretty amazing. People, not, most of the people don't know this, that you can, you know, avail this opportunity for free. So I will just simply go ahead and type calendar. So you can see I got two options right here. The first one is notes. It's an app that will provide me to a calendar organization experience. And then we have T metric, which is also a timer and a calendar so it is not free it's like 30 days trial is free but this one is completely free so i am going with this one all you have to do is just click on add to your account once you do that it will be installed and it will be added to your account great you can see right here now i have to click on install and voila it is installed it literally takes one second to install now i'm going to click on use app so i will be added to my board so the workspace will be main workspace and board will be the simple board that i just actually created so now i will add this feature into my workspace and my board so once i do that you will see that it will be integrated right here and there you go i have my notes right here and it is serving the purpose of a calendar let's go to full screen view and let me show you around now this is how i am using a calendar in monday.com of course there are other ways as well if you have you can actually you know add google calendar into your workspace or and if you are into the premium plans you will actually get the monday.com calendar so that's a different thing i am just telling you that how you can you know simply use a calendar in for free in monday.com so this is how you get the view of the calendar you can see this is a weekly view if i go ahead and click on month then it will give me a monthly view so the day right now is 23 so you know this is what the date is so i can actually you know add any events issues or whatever i want to write here on this particular date so if i click right here on this plus so from right here, you can actually create issues, events, campaigns, something like that. So I'm going to create an event right here on Thursday. When I will click right here, they will ask me to create a new node. So I will just simply click on create a new node. And right here, I will be able to create a new node. So I can, you know, add any topic to my event. For example, meeting. And the date is given right here. Now the template, you can actually, you know, uh, go ahead and go with any of the templates i'm gonna go with event and then i'm gonna add different details if i want to add the name so i will simply add name location audience now in location i can actually add the location where the meeting is going to take place and then there is a description option where i can just simply click and i can add any description right here so once i'm done with everything i will just simply click on apply so you can see right here add the if i want to change anything i will simply change it and i will add the location right here if i want to and add any documents any descriptions so i can do that as well so once i'm done with all of this all i have to do is just click on cross and it is actually you know created 
there is nothing you know a process to actually save it once you go back it is already saved so you can see right here that i have a meeting on thursday 23 and i will be notified of it so this is how you can actually you know get a view of the calendars right here you can see there is a campaign option there are other options as well where you can actually you know create other apps as well S then again the main table so it is a actually note option right where you can you will actually create notes but i have actually used it for the purpose of calendar so that always keep that in mind uh, while using you know this integration i'm just you know showing you the free version of a calendar which will give you an overview but if I go to the apps again, and if I wanted to, you know, add a good calendar as well, the other one, T metrics, I would have gone with that one as well. You can see I can actually, you know, go with the 30 day trial, add to my account, install, and it is installed. I can just simply use the app, add to my board. So yeah, guys, this way I can actually, you know, I should have added that one as well right here if you want to use that one for your calendar purposes. So you can do that as well. So that's pretty much it. It's very, very simple. On monday.com, you can actually integrate anything you want to on into your workspace. So that's actually pretty amazing. And that's what, what I love about monday.com. So when it comes to calendars, you can actually integrate with any of the calendars that you want to. You can go with Google Calendar as well. I would suggest that because Google Calendar is pretty amazing to use and it's very easy and you will be able to integrate it very simply. So it'll be amazing. So yeah, guys, one more thing that you can actually, you know, go on more right here. And when you go to more, you can actually see the option of calendar and now here you will be able to you know get this calendar view right here so if i want to add anything on any date i will just simply click on the date and then i will give it a name for example i will call it meeting and you can actually you know few tips to help make uh, this program if i have any group i will just simply add it right here for example different groups that are like already created i would just simply click right here and then i will add the type that whatever type it is i will just add dashboard uh, you can actually you know add anything if you have tasks if you want to add any labels you will simply click right here and you will give it a color and you will give it a name for example innovation and i want it to be this color so i will simply apply now these are different labels that we can actually create and then there is domain if I want to add any domain into it for example I can just simply do that as well then there is a timeline to set dates I can just simply click right here so you can see I have added like this is the timeline from 1st of October to 21 so this is what it will look like actually you know just give it like three days so yeah you can see this is the timeline so I will just create item and it will be created you can see right here now i have a meeting which is gonna be you know it is timed from one to three october so this is the way you can actually use calendar right here on monday.com it's super easy all you do is you just click if i want to you know go to any other month i will just simply click here and i can actually you know go to weekly view as well if i want to or i can go to daily view so you can just you know simply go ahead and do that so it's super easy to use right here and if i'll just go back to the calendar right here so this is how you actually use calendars on monday.com most of the time you don't see these options and we are like maybe this option is not available but it's there you will simply click on more and then you will if i want to switch to you know notes that i actually created before i will simply do that as well so yeah this way you can actually switch between the integrations as well so yeah guys i think this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel